So today we're going to be checking out if you guys should go to the University of Sydney. Australia is just dangerous. I mean, that's so close to my head as I walk by. My goodness. I know you're probably thinking, what the hell are you looking at, Dylan? Basically, there was a huge spider there and it almost hit my head. But while I'm here, take a look at this reminder on the toilet at the University of Sydney. I'm not no expert, but I'm pretty sure this is telling me not to wipe my face with a toilet brush. Not like Gerald from Physics decides to wipe his face with a toilet brush. Or who needs to be reminded to stand up while taking a goddamn pee? 2019, eh? My God, am I really that white? Should you come to the University of Sydney? That is one of the biggest questions that... I don't know, I've been asked since I've been out here. I mean, on exchange as an international student, it's one of the best universities in the world. I think it's ranked around 50th in the world. And today I'm giving you an insight into what life is like as a UCID student. UCID are very um, apologetic. We apologize for any inconvenience while we are improving your campus. Is that sarcasm? I don't know, I don't know. One thing I love personally about UCID is just the amazing artwork on campus. So here we've got, um, I'm not even sure what that is, but we've got it. Yeah, let's get a closer look. Is this just, I don't really know what's, what the, I mean, is this just in construction? I, I'm not really sure what's going on. On a serious level, the campus is quite beautiful. There's some nice buildings like this one. I'm not sure what's inside. Let's go um, have a knocky knock. Run. So, oh my goodness, my new camera almost fell and broke. So this street here is probably the hub of you said and there's so many different subjects basically what i'm saying is i have lectures everywhere not just in the economics building over there pretty much everywhere down here there's a coffee shop there which is fairly expensive but sydney is very expensive look at this i'm actually outraged so this is four dollars 35 for a bottle of water i would rather be dehydrated how on earth can they charge four dollars for a bottle of water so if anyone wants to take my exams for me here's my student card not loud in there. Let's try to find an open door. I think one thing about UCID is it's either a really nice new seminar room or quite a not so nice old one. So right here is the law building. And as you can see, it's really nice and new. The campus artwork on UCID. This is a leg, boots. I'm actually doing a theater play at one of the theaters in Sydney. That is tonight. I performed yesterday. It went good. Oh, we're in. So right now we're heading down to the law library. Um, anyone can go to the law library. However, during exam time and close to exam time, you, you, you're gonna have to get here at around 8 a.m. Otherwise, there's literally no seats. Like, I thought my university back home was bad for getting seats at the library. Here is even worse. So there's a lot of international students here, mainly from Asia. Their routine is just impeccable. They're, they're literally at the library 7 a.m. It's just pretty nuts. Right by the campus is Victoria Park, and it's got a lovely swimming pool and gym down there. Open air, outdoor. Here's another on-campus coffee shop. Well, it's closed, but um, just what? Hello? That's full. Fifteen dollars for a margarita pizza with a bit of buffalo. There's always loads of tourists at the UC campus. And tell me what kind of... I mean, this lady's definitely doing an Instagram live stream right now about her taking pictures of her friend. Then before I knew it, I'd stumbled into a uh, mother-daughter photo shoot on campus. Tourist game on lock, literally. Here's the School of Chemistry. Yeah, never been inside. And it's a Sunday, so it's locked. So when you spot it, let me know. So this is what is known as the quadrangle. Often if you come to UCID, this is why you're sunbathed during the day. Yeah, I've shown you inside there before and there's always weddings happening. Oh my goodness, what? Why is it? Oh, let's ask boss man. I'm inside. I mean, I'm sure I don't need to give you a tour of the libraries, but this is the law library and the Fisher library, which is the main library is upstairs. They're linked. There's plenty of other libraries around campus. It's a huge library. Brooks, Bournemouth Wolves. So here's an open learning space. A uh, lift. People that take the lift up one floor. So now we're on level nine. A nice open space to learn. So there's the sculptures that I was looking at earlier. And here's a... Uh, who realistically can do a lot of work on that desk? Apparently my card didn't work because I'm not re-enrolled and term starts in like two weeks. I actually need to get this going. Oh my goodness, I need to, I need to re-enroll everybody. I'd say this street is the main hub of Sydney University. There's always tents and like pop-up stalls and stuff like that around here. Some political people trying to get you to uh, do some random, random stuff. There's a bridge and on the other side of the bridge is like a subway, a tech lab, all that sort of stuff. 
but for now as it's closed because it's Sunday it'll be more like this. The campus gets a solid 8 out of 10 I'd say. Down the road there is a tennis court, swimming pool, basketball courts, boxing, all that sort of stuff down there. And um, there's the local campus bar which is pretty bad. Here is another gym for the UCID and a climbing place and a lovely football court. Sexy. That grass. Here's what the uh, pals are up to back home, not much. Oh, the Subway King. Subway? Oh, Subway. The women's college is down there, there's Wesley, and up here is Paul's. Should you stay at college? Yeah, I mean, pretty much, they're just the same. There's colleges back home, I mean, there's, yeah. By the way, I went to college back home in the UK. Getting a coffee for my, uh... This is the only reason I came to college. Thank you guys for watching this far into the video. There are a few things that I want to mention about UCID that I haven't covered yet. So, um, college. I think college is great. Bonding, food, events, friends. Now, yeah, I just enjoy college personally. I feel like everyone knows each other. There's food provided, which is just, just what I'm after in life, really. Food. Just lots of cool stuff happens at college. I mean, it is expensive. Some other things I'd say about Sydney campus is that Sydney is amazing. However, compared to my university back home, it's a bit harder to like access things like music rooms. Like me and my boys, before we hit up the studio, made some tracks, just a bit of banter, a bit of fun. Here it's like, I've Googled and searched around. If I wanted to access the music rooms, it's like, I have no clue how. Harder to find stuff, I'd say here, at Sydney University, probably because the campus is so big and there's so many students. There is really good student support here. Like, if I had a question, like today, so a week before we start university. I hadn't actually enrolled in my courses yet, but I went to like this student hub and was like, what the, what are you guys doing? Can you please enroll me? What the hell? And then they was like, yeah, they sorted it out. And it's just pretty nice knowing that there's an actual place you can go to. Instead of having to wait for somebody to reply to your emails, because they'll probably never reply, and when they do reply, they give you some really bad generic response, and you're like, what the f***? I just waited for like a week for this bad response, and it's still not sorted, and you're like, ah, hmm. Um, there's obviously societies for everything here at Sydney University. I think they're like the best in the world at Quidditch or some, some, some good stuff like that. Teaching. I find I have more seminars here than I did at home. Lectures are the same. Modules, yeah. It all seems all good. I don't know, here compared to the U... They have some great modules for study abroad. I mean, you pretty much go to the zoo a few times, write a report, and then your class finishes halfway through the semester. Why not do that, I guess? I can't, because I'm on a replacement year. Sports and university teams. The weird thing here is that anybody can play. There is teams for you to join as a university student. The club is called Sydney Uni Fitness. But because it's a club and not just a sole university team, anybody can play for, anybody can play, anybody can join these teams, meaning like, although the team is called Sydney Uni Fitness, it's not a university team, like anyone can be part of this team, it's more of a club. Pretty strange. Um, and literally there are thousands of exchange students coming here, probably. Like, Sydney University has to be one of the biggest exchange destinations in the world. And you can see why. Alright, real, real talk, subscribe, subscribe. Down. Oh boy, then she must have really been on the fence. Because with me, Banzai! Maybe there was just more of a deep and emotional connection between us and you were just a hookup. Yeah, that had to be it. <laughs> hey, screw you. Alright then, fine. Yeah, let's do it. Why you drinking? Fade away. All my friends day. Fade away. Nothing for the same All up in my head, that's how I behave Passing up the same, waking up the same All up in my head, that's just how I behave